And this, is, this first piece is called A Complete History of Radical Performance Protest Poetry. It's not fair! Thank you. That's a, next one's a little bit longer. Try and keep up. Fucking hell, Hackney. I thought it was supposed to be cool now. Right. This next one is dedicated to what unites us all in this fine country. It's a true story and it's called Britain United. Did you ask for that? No. He seems to think you did. Uh, Britain United. <laughs> Dwayne, Darren, Wayne, Sharon, Jace, Trace, Kel, Shell and Warren meet Jemima, Lucinda, Piers, Araminta, Abigail, Felicity and Rupert in Britain, a country divided by class but united by shit names. <laughs> yeah. They're all short, don't worry. And I kicked him at eight minutes. Ish. Right, this next one's a new one, just to prove I can read, right? This one's called uh, Convenience Culture. If you want to find a special treat, discover where the hip kids meet, or drive from Alder Shop to Fleet, there's an app for that. If you want to know which cult films to like, or learn the latest pose to strike, find a parking bay for your Boris bike, there's an app for that. If you want to know what will be cool next week, if you want to dress your room in shabby chic, or need the works of Shakespeare in text speak, there's an app for that. If you'd like the dirt, love the goss, and want to suffocate in celebrity toss until your brain's been turned to candy floss, there's definitely an app for that. If you want to let your inner spirit free, express your core humanity, transcend base triviality, there's no fucking app for that, thank you. <laughs> Obvious but true. Next one. Another newish one. Right, uh, now it seems to me, with, with the kind of stultif stultification of society and the, uh, the, the, the uh, you, you know, the screen gawping culture that we've developed, uh, it a, a lot of people, or so, or so that's my impression, have developed this idea that the only thing worth knowing about is popular cultural uh, references within their memory time, right? So if you say to them, this, I'm talking about young people I work with here, right? Uh, if you say to them, talk to them about anything that didn't happen on the telly and they can remember it, X Factor bullshit, they say, they all say the same thing, they say, that's before my time. I say, right, okay. So this is, uh, this is, my, uh, th this is my answer to that. This is another true story. This is called Nothing's Before My Time. The Beatles aren't before my time, the Second World War's not before my time, the French Revolution's not before my time, nothing's before my time, the Restoration's not before my time, the Reformation's not before my time, the Peasants' Revolt ain't before my time, nothing's before my time, the Roman Empire's not before my time, the KT Extinction episode's not before my time, the Big Bang's not before my time, nothing's before my time, nothing's before my time, nothing's before my time. Because I can fucking read. <laughs> Simple, really. Open the foot for one of those Kindle things. It's still quite fucking. Yeah. Right. Uh, next one. Oh, this next one. This this next one's. Uh, they're all true stories. I don't know why I keep saying. This one's called Vic Lambrusco's Guide to Successful Foreplay. A hand in the bird. <laughs> it's worth two on the bush. Thank you. <laughs> Right, now, as you can probably tell, I don't do love poems. I hate it when people they say, this is a love poem. I'm like, oh, fuck it, I don't do that. This is uh, my riposte to that sort of nonsense. This one's called Hate Poem. <laughs> you put the twerp in Antwerp, you put the Burke in Berkshire, you put the div in Vladivostok and the boar in Boreham Wood. You put the sham in Hersham, you put the cock in Cock Fosters, you put the low in Lowest Stoft and take one eye out of Shiite. You put another low in top loader, you put the ice in Venice, you put the twat in hot water and the slag in Foster's Lager. You put the ag in page three of the paper you put ape in, almost put the nonce in nonchalant and put the tripe in stripe. But worse than you on all counts are your mother and your father, because they put you on the fucking planet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 